Hey everybody, this is the Iworm and today I'm giving you some tips for setting up and configuring Quickloot SE. If you're interested in modding Skyrim or Fallout 4, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's start with the basics first, the regular installation. I'm using Mod Organizer, but you can install using any mod manager. Just make sure you have the following three required mods installed, or this beautiful Quickloot mod will not work. Requirements are Skyrim SE version 1.5.39, SKSE 64 version 2.0.7, and SkyUI version 5.1 SE or better. If installation is successful, the default mod looks like this. Just by hovering over containers or bodies, you can loot their items, either individually or all at once. Works like a charm, and this mod will make a lot of people happy just by its default settings. However, you can also customize the mod, and I will show you how by changing the .ini file. The .ini file can most likely be found by navigating to your SKSE folder, then go to plugins, and then it is the quickloot se.ini. I'm using Mod Organizer too, so for me it's different, but once you found it, open it using Notepad. The .ini file consists of three sections: one, looting configuration. 2. Menu configuration and 3. Miscellaneous configuration. Let's go through these sections and I will show you the effects in game. Section 1. The looting configuration. The looting configuration basically determines when the quick loot menu will be active. A value of 0 means false. A value of 1 means true. So currently the option disabling combat is 0 means that the quick loot menu is not disabled in combat. Sort of a double negative. In other words, it's enabled in combat. So during combat, you can still see the quick loot menu. If you change the zero to a one, you turn off the quick loot menu in combat, and this means you see the vanilla game looting system during combat. The other two options work exactly the same way. Zero means that the quick loot menu is active during stealing or pickpocketing. A1 means it won't be. And you might not want this menu during stealing for example because you can't see the detailed item information using the quick loot menu. Section 2. The menu configuration. The menu configuration lets you customize the quick loot pop-up as it were. There's four options for you to customize. The scale is the size of the whole menu. The default values are set to minus 1, which seems to correspond roughly with a scale of 100. I will show you for example a scale of 50 over here. It's quite small, but it gives you some indication what scale is 50 looks like at a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Up next is a scale of 400 to show you the other end of the spectrum, and this is, well, pretty big. Skill 100 seems to be the regular value, so if you want to increase or decrease the scale by a little from its default value, just add or deduce 20 points. That should be enough. The position options lets you determine where you want the quick loop menu to be. I really like the default value, so I didn't really change these, but if you want to have it centered, for example, set both options to 50. You'll have to tweak these for yourself a little bit to find the perfect spot for the quick loot menu if you want it changed. Last is opacity, which indicates how transparent the quick loot menu is. If you find it too visible and intrusive to the game, lower the value. If the menu isn't legible for you, set the opacity to more than 50. It makes it easier to see. Here, I made it 100 for example. The default value is 50. Section 3. The miscellaneous options. The miscellaneous options are less important, but I'll quickly cover them. What it basically does is let you customize the text from the quick loop menu. You can replace certain words, like I did there. You can also add color if you know how those work, otherwise look that up. I didn't see any reason to change these. The only real option here is the self-translation option. By default, it's set to zero, which means it is disabled. So whatever changes you make to the words below, they won't take effect until you change the value of self-translation to one. 
Only then your new words will pop up. I think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself. I really hope I was able to help you out a little bit by setting up your quick loot SE just the way you want it. Let me know in the comments either on YouTube or in the Nexus if you run into any issues and I'll try to help you out. Also check out my channel for more videos and mod reviews. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching for now guys and I will see you soon. Bye bye.